When we started out, our goal was to change the world, to do something that would really make a difference to the lives of people. And education is one of the things that really determines how people live the rest of their lives. So for us, it's just a wonderful feeling to improve kids' educational spaces. We're in Burlingame Intermediate School, south of San Francisco, just south of the airport. They've been a client of ours for about six or seven years. This was the first project we did with them. For us, a lot of the design process begins with thinking about light. Light is an incredible motivator for learning spaces. It's, it's been demonstrated that students learn better, learn faster and more in spaces with natural daylighting. So we like, to, we like to bring as much natural daylighting in as we can. So this building has a, a sawtooth roof with clear story windows that bring light in. And then the classrooms toward the north have large north-facing windows. And then they also have a secondary light source away from the windows. They have a series of skylights. So actually the space can be used with no lights on at all on a, on a nice day. And then there's a, there's a glass, sort of a, sort of a prow, and that prow aligns with the ridge line. So the roof shape of this building seems unusual, but it's all about bringing the light into the spaces. When we look at our core architectural software, we're looking for something that's easy to use, that's really, really accurate. With Vectorworks, we can study the daylighting impact on our classrooms. We can orient windows, orient shading so that Classrooms get plenty of light without glare. The Heliodon tool is very cool. You can look at the solar impact at different seasons. You can look at it in the middle of the summer, look at it in the middle of the winter. You know, electrical use for lighting is one of the greatest energy uses in the world, actually. Uh, in a lot of parts of the country, air conditioning is a huge uh, energy impact. The Heliodon tool lets us look at shadows. What we need to do with shadows is use roof overhangs or, or, or sunshades to, to modulate how the light comes into the building. So we minimize heat gain, maximize natural lighting. We prototyped everything here and looked at different options, different tweaks. What happens if we shift this this way or shift this the other way? We spend a lot of time working on working out those kind of details. In order to have a, a good looking building, things, things need to line up in a certain way that, to feel resolved. With three-dimensional software, we can really, we can see problems that we haven't solved yet, and we can quickly find lots of alternative solutions to that and come up with, with a really good solution that pleases everybody.